Hi there, Ambika Devi here to share some info about today's solar partial eclipse that happened just a few hours ago here before sunrise, kind of right around sunrise, where I am on the east coast of Florida. A partial solar eclipse is when there is a bit of shadow cast on the earth. However, it's not as profound as a total solar eclipse, but there are always interesting points. And the key fact about a solar eclipse is that it sets a tone and a theme for the next period of time until we reach the next eclipse pattern. This was the third in a grouping of eclipses that have just occurred. One, uh, a partial solar back in July, and then a lunar eclipse, which was a total lunar eclipse uh, toward the end of July. And so this culminates this pattern. We have the influence of Leo because the moon and sun were in Leo at the moment of the eclipse. They still are. And uh, that is because a solar eclipse happens during a new moon. And this is when the shadow of the moon casts on the earth because it's blocking out just a bit of the sun. So the moon represents our psyche and the sun, our ego. So right there during a solar eclipse, we have some information. How is your intuition overriding? what your ego mind tells you. And in the sign of Leo, which is a fixed sign, this can be a bit of an inner struggle. One of the most interesting points in the chart for this morning's eclipse is that there is a yod pointing at Mercury at 14 degrees Leo. And Mercury is communication. So this is a big factor for us in what we're doing with our imagination, where we're going with our projects, ideas, what we want to invest our energies into over this next period leading into the next eclipse period, which will actually be a shorter span between now and the next shift. And so if you'd like to know how this is affecting you personally, I suggest an eclipse reading with me. Let's see where this transited your natal chart. And then we get a lot of very pointed ideas about how to be tapping into your psyche, into your imagination. What do you really want to do for this next period of time? How do you want to invest your energy? Of course, there are many, many other points in a chart. So we can't just look at one planet or even just a small grouping. So anytime there's a relationship between your natal chart, your birth chart, and transiting planets, we have to back up and look at the whole big picture. Pluto's a big player in this eclipse. He's retrograde right now. Retrograding happens every year for the planets. It's an appeared backward motion, but it does feel like backward motion because Think about the last time you were sitting still in a vehicle. Uh, we feel it a lot when we're sitting at a gate at an airplane and another airplane starts backing out. Suddenly you get the sensation that you're moving, but your plane isn't. This can happen when you're sitting at a light, also in a car. This is the feeling that we can get in our bodies and our minds and even in our spirits when planets make shifts or when new planetary periods happen for us personally. So uh, the legs of this yacht are Neptune and Pluto. These are deep, deeper in space from our solar system. So we wouldn't consider them personal planets, but they're affecting a very personal planet, which is Mercury. So they're the legs of this pattern. And uh, depending on where these three points are transiting your chart with Pluto at Capricorn and Neptune in Pisces pointing at this Mercury and Leo, this creates a very powerful triangle of energy in our charts. 
Leo is a fixed sign. This can create a great deal of stubbornness. And in today's solar partial eclipse chart, we do have a lot of fire and a great deal of fixed energy. So this can create stubbornness, but force. Transformation through fire is alchemy. This can be a great thing, but it's really important for us to consciously focus this in. Albeit sent to dragon this weekend, today, Saturday, from 1.30 to 5.30, possibly till closing at 7, and then I'll be there again tomorrow. So come on by and see me. Send me a message if you'd like more information. I am happy to receive you as a client online in your preferred video chat platform, Skype here on Facebook or Google Hangout. And let's get a look at what's going on with today's lunar uh, action and the solar partial eclipse and where this affects you. I'll see you soon. Magic always.